The websites that I'm going to show you today are all 100% free to use in any way you like, with no attribution required. Now let's get started with my favorite, and that is Unsplash. You can find this by going to unsplash.com. Here at Unsplash, you will find a large variety of free images to choose from. There are a couple ways that you can find images. The first way is by browsing through their Topics tabs, where you will find things like nature, fashion, athletics, and much more. If perhaps you have something specific in mind, then the second way to search for an image is by simply keying into the search bar. Once you find an image that you like, click on it. This will take you to the download page, where you will find everything about the photo, as well as a list of suggested photos similar to the one you clicked on. In the top right corner, you should notice a green button that says Download Free. And by clicking this, you will immediately begin downloading the selected photo. Conveniently, to the side of this button is a drop-down menu that allows you to select a specific size for your download, which is very handy. If you would like to know the image specs, click on the Info tab where you'll find things like the make and model of the camera used, aperture, shutter speed, etc. If you want to let the contributor know that you liked their photo, you can do this by creating a free account and clicking the Like button. Having a free account also allows you the ability to save images to your favorites folder, so you can quickly get back to them later. This site is tops in my book. Let's move on to another wonderful option for free photos, and that is StockSnap. To find this, just search StockSnap.io. As you'll notice, searching for an image on StockSnap is quite similar to the previous site, but with one additional search tool, and that is the Trending tab. The Trending tab allows you to quickly browse through StockSnap's most popular in-demand photos, and that's pretty cool. Now worth noting, StockSnap does have copious images, however, a good number of them are sponsored by Shutterstock, and these can be identified by the little star in the top left corner. If you click on a sponsored image, you will be redirected to Shutterstock's website. And with a few exceptions, Shutterstock's images are not free. So if you're looking for free images only, just be sure to avoid the images with the little star. For most images on this site, all you have to do is select the photo you like and click download. I would be remiss if I didn't mention my favorite feature on StockSnap, which is the Customize with Editor button. After clicking this, you will be given several editing options, such as crop, filters, effects, and more. Once you are content with your edits to the photo, click the red download button in the upper right corner, and you're done. Last but not least, let's move on to negative space. To get here, search negativespace.co. Once you're on this site, you can either search through the various categories, key something specific into the search bar, or simply start scrolling through the images. One of my favorite features on negative space is the ability to search by color. If you need specific colors in your photos, then this is for you. You can find the search filter located at the bottom of the page. Now, once you've found a photo that you want, click on it, and then click Download Free Stock Photo. From here, just right click and Save Image As. Give it a name, and there it is, ready for you to use in any way you like. Hey, don't forget to check this video out if you're looking for free music to use in your YouTube videos. Thanks for watching.